Lesson 5-5, five, five, Trapezoids. This is a very brief lesson. It's a quadrilateral, so we put it in here, but it's a specific type of quadrilateral. This is a type of trapezoid. I don't know if it's the typical one. But a trapezoid is quadrilateral with one and only one. Otherwise, it's not a quadrilateral. A pair of parallel sides. We call those parallel sides the bases. And we usually put the thin one on top. But we could put it on the bottom too. We call the outside just like we call triangles the legs. And the height is perpendicular between the top and the bottom. You might say, oh, that looks familiar based on all the work we've been doing the last few days. That's what I would hope. So, trapezoid with two congruent legs. Remember, it's already got one pair of parallel sides. Looks like it almost is an isosceles trapezoid. This is the kind of question you'll see a lot on tests and quizzes and ACT because you have to recognize that these base angles are congruent. Remember, we could call the top or the bottom bases, so these are both congruent. And we could also say, since they're parallel lines, they're not only congruent, They add up 280 degrees. Which is part of what's written down right here. Base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. And the same side, interior angles, like always, add up to 180 degrees. And a little disagreement which is on the back and which I'll say if I take a triangle and I draw from a vertex to a midpoint we call that a median if we go from midpoint to midpoint across the middle We call that a mid-segment. So if we draw one across the middle of a trapezoid, it should be called, that's right, a median, which makes no sense. So I've listed them both. I almost always, for some silly reason, say mid-segment, even though I should say median. So just trying to help you out. Look for median in the literature. Trapezoid because it's got parallel bases. We draw a couple midpoints. So they're parallel and it's the average. So six and ten. This would be eight. One way to do it for those who don't look at it and just figure it out would be to add them together and divide by two. We just put a different color in there to show another one. This could be four and this could be 26. Notice I'm always picking odd, uh, even numbers, which I don't have to. And if that was the case, this would be 15. I like to look at it as what's the difference here? 11. What's the difference here and here? 11. That works for me, but. Some people just like the old boring, well, just add them up and divide by two, whether they understand what they're doing or not. So like I said, when we get into these, we can give you lots of interesting problems, but the basics are very easy to understand. Good luck.